Here's a time lapse of Hurricane Sandy from space just before it hit shore. A Boulder scientist flew right into its heart. 7 News reporter Doug Shepman found this was no joyride. This was a mission to save lives. You can see the wing of the P-3 here, and we're in the eye of the storm. Dr. Sandy McDonald has studied hurricanes for 40 years at NOAA, but for the first time on Sunday, he flew into one in a research plane, and using a cell phone camera, captured this image of a 10-mile-wide thunderstorm circling within Hurricane Sandy. I've never had imagined that that's how it works, and there it was. It was amazing. There's certainly an excitement and novelty with being able to fly into a hurricane, but there's a purpose behind doing this. The purpose is a deadly serious purpose. When we were flying through this storm, we kept dropping these things called drops-ons. So they drop out of the bottom of the plane, and they're actually measuring the temperature, winds, and uh, pressure and humidity as they go down to the ocean surface. We realize that with the right data, we're going to be able to tell people where this deadly storm is going to go. McDonald says the data gathered during his flight helped forecasters pinpoint where Hurricane Sandy would make landfall in New Jersey. He also says the experience was both enlightening and humbling. As a meteorologist, I can marvel at scientifically what's happening, but just as a person, I think anybody who went into one of these uh, would be just in awe of how uh, beautiful and, of course, how terrible they are. Doug Shepman, 7 News. Mm.